Morning, buenos dias. Thank you for waking up with us this morning. Here's the temperature outlook for right now. If you're heading out, looks like this is the latest update. El Paso, we have not moved from 40 for quite some time now. Las Cruces is here at 33, and it looks like Alamogordo dipped down to their 20s now. Right now, you're sitting all alone in your 20s, and it looks like everybody else is hanging out in their 30s and 40s for the morning. And the high for today in El Paso, we're at 66. Light winds, and then mostly cloudy throughout the day and nighttime, and that's because the added moisture that's moving into the borderland. And area-wide right here, looks like we're going to hang out in our 40s, 50s, and 60s for today for our highs. El El Paso, you will be the highest high within our area at 66 in Cloudcroft, the lowest low at 47 for your high today. And then it looks like Guadalupe Pass in our eastern counties hanging out in our 50s and 60s for your highs. So it looks like all around we are going to be pretty cold, even though we're going to be in our mid 60s. It's pretty chilly still. And here's our daily planner, a breakdown for today. Around 9 o'clock, we're still going to be hanging out in our 40s. And when it comes to noon, we're going to be in our high 50s. And for the second half of the day, just in case you are going to the UTEP volleyball game, by the time you get there and the time you leave, you're going to be hanging out in the 50s, both when you get there and when you leave. So go ahead and grab that jacket because it's going to be pretty cold. And here's the next seven day outlook. So for today and tomorrow is going to be the warmest day for the next seven days. We're going to be roughly five to 10 degrees above average. And then when it comes to rain chances, that's going to be here in the borderland. We have a slight chance of rains for tomorrow and also for Thursday. When it comes to snow right now, it just looks like the Sacramento mountains. There's a possibility you might see some snow on Thursday. And I went ahead and updated the future track short term and it fast forwarded it for Wednesday at 5 p.m. The latest update now shows that there's a possibility north of Las Cruces there might be some rain chances and then when it comes to Wednesday tomorrow at 9 p.m. When parts of Las Cruces, Alamogordo was probably see some rain, but as you can see, it's light green, which is the indication of light rain. Roughly right now, it looks like we might see one tenth of an inch. And when it comes to Wednesday, 11 p.m., even parts of Chaparral, and then Thursday, 4 a.m., still some rain chances. And then finally, Thursday at 9 a.m., this is the high probability where we will see the rain chances here in the borderland. And then it does show before that there might be some rain chances on Friday, but as of right now, it looks like it's just pushing northeast of us and then when it comes to our seven day model bought you by matches from our high for today at 66 tomorrow 10 percent chance of rain but that's going to enter later on at night and then thursday it's going to be most of the time during the morning hours where we will see the rain chances 40 percent chance of rain and then throughout the week it looks like friday saturday and sunday we're going to be really dry still cold but dry no rain chances we're going to start to warm up on monday and las cruces you're going to hang out in your 50s and 60s all week long Michael.